Hello. Welcome to a crafter's story. It's Celeste here again. So I craft a lot and I have a lot of bits and pieces left over and I cannot bring myself <laughs> to throw them away. Um, everything has beauty and I just keep thinking, well, can't I use this maybe as an accent somewhere or as a little filler somewhere else? And so I land up with boxes and boxes of little scraps of paper and eventually I decided, okay, enough is enough. I have to do something with them. And doing a collage was probably the most obvious choice. I don't know why I hadn't done it before. So I've been taking a lot of the scraps that I've got and making collages out of them. And I just wanted to show you, this is an example that we're going to work on together today. And what I've done, nothing's glued down. I just put it out arranged it roughly what I think might work and then I took a photo of this <clears throat> excuse me because when I take this off to the side to start gluing there is no way that I'm going to remember where everything was placed my brain is just not wired that way and so by taking a photograph I have my computer next to me here with a picture pulled up and so it'll be my reference and it doesn't have to be exactly like this as long as I just cover everywhere but it gives me you know, an idea of where everything was placed previously. So an example of what I had done before, just with long strips or little sort of rectangles and squares of other paper, is this example. And what I to give it some, some weight and some strength and some durability, because I'm going to reuse this, I used some, uh, the you know, your brown grocery bags, and I cut out a piece and I use that as the backing it's quite sturdy as you can as you can hear and so this guy I've I keep just um, in a box in my craft room and I photocopy it um, sometimes I'll resize the photocopy because I want a smaller version of this sometimes I'll keep it at the same size and as an example this is a 50% reduction on my printer and as you can see it greatly reduced it and I then went ahead and made oh, for that. in this little journal that I'm, I'm not done with it I'm still working on it um, I decided to take this guy cut it out cut it to size and um, it's a bit of glue and make edge the edges clip a half circle, put a washi sticker, a little affirmation, little sticker, and then paste it into this little mini journal that I'm working on. So as you can see, we went from this great big old scrap piece of paper collage to this tiny cute little pocket. And then I went ahead um, and also this was 75% reduction on the print size on the computer uh, on the <laughs> on the printer which I then used to make a, a jumbo tag and then of course because when it comes to crafting I'm a little extra <clears throat> I decided to put in a little pocket it's a bit tight so I'm probably not going to be able <clears throat> excuse me probably not going to be able to put very much in here but it's pretty all the same even if I don't put anything in here so that was there and then I was because it was wider than my tag I was able to tuck it and make it nice and neat um, this is not part of today's tu video but I thought I would just share it anyway I had some coffee stain paper and I was taking a walk and there were all these the grass weeds and the so I picked some grass weeds brought it home Put it on my printer on the glass of the printer and put the coffee stain paper over it and I squished it down with a lid and made a photocopy and it surprised me how clearly this came out so the whole purpose of today's video is to show you how you can make your own paper and save you some money and not having to go out and buy it so all right let's oh and then I just made a, a a life-size print as well because well who knows who knows where you can use this maybe it becomes an envelope you know you could always 
make it into a little envelope, uh, maybe some more tags. I don't know. We'll see. But let's work on this guide together and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to just go whoop and it's all gonzos. Um, there we go. It's gone. And again, I just used some brown paper from a, a brown ba bag from the grocery store and I cut it out. And I usually make them oversized. This is not an A by an A4 11 by eight and a half. This is probably a 12 or 11 and a half by one, two, three. Oh, let's see, we don't count. 11 and a half by nine ish. And I don't get fancy with my glue either. I'm just going to go ahead with a glue stick. I mean, I guess you could. I guess you could use something like an Elmer's glue. Um, should we try both? We can try both. I can... Let's try the Elmer's first. Because why not, right? And just see... See what happens. Let's put down a base layer of glue. Okay, I wonder if that's enough. Let's see. Um, I really should have put down something to protect my surface, but you know what? It's just glue and this stuff washes off, especially while it's still wet. So I'm not, not terribly worried. And as you can see, I'm being quite generous because I want this to last. I want this collage to be something that I can use over and over again and um, I think I'm going to brush this a little smoother so we don't have any bumpy bits there you go nothing fancy a little bit of glue okay so I think based on that picture that I've got next to me here, this was the first edition. Yeah, that glue, that glue works great. All right, and this was edition number two. I've got that one down. And then we had, oh no, we had this one first. Okay, that's okay. While the glue is wet, if you feel like you goofed up you can always pull it off quickly and start over and of course this is because this there's no real rhyme or reason for this um you know you could be sitting next to the, in front of the tv doing this just dip your hand into something next into a bowl next to you and pull out a piece of paper and stick it down and see what happens. Almost like one of those mystery bags <laughs> they used to get at the fairs. So this was something, um, the paper's beautiful. And I just thought, let me keep it like this. Because you, with these dots sticking out, that could be interesting, right? So let's do that. And we'll stick this guy down. Alright. Um, yep, yep, that looks right. I'm still... I'm still doing well. Here's my little blue piece. This is my blue piece. I believe he went here. <clears throat> now normally I wouldn't be quite so worried about where everything is placed. I'll just stick them down. But usually that means I, I rearrange things as I go. And I don't, um, we don't really have the time to do that on a video. So I try to just make it uh, make it a little quicker because I want to show you the end result and you can see how fabulous this is going to be just fabulous all right I believe this guy came down next yes he did but I no this little oaky this chap get him down here and when you're done and you find pieces are sticking up like this, because this is not actually going in, this original physically is not actually going into any um, journal, it doesn't matter when you put it down on your comp on your printer. I keep wanting to say computer. What? It, it, when you put it down on your, on your printer and you put the lid down, 
that's going to take care of squishing down all the little little bits that are sticking up so don't worry about it all right so i'm already trying to think what i'm going to do with this collage when it's done and i don't really know i mean i can do tags and i can do pockets and oh my gosh look at that this is just awesome sauce. I love it so much. Okay, down it goes. And what is next? Oh, we've got some um, of this pretty paper. Let's get that down. Actually, you know, I pulled out all those stick glues thinking, well, I'm definitely going to use the stick glue. And it turns out that the liquid Elmer's liquid white glue works better. Who'd have, who'd have thunk it? I didn't even think of that but I'm glad that it's that it's working out and let's see I've got more of this let's get this pasted down okay this is starting to really take shape and it's it's quick as well and that's what I like about it sometimes you know I love to take my time with my crafting but sometimes it is nice just to whip out a craft you know whip out a project and have it come out the way you really want it to um and this is one of those times when if you don't have a whole bunch of time you can still do this and so this one i think is going to be a little trickier because this is a napkin that i a piece of a napkin that i saved and i know i'm going to have to make this glue just will be come back here you Make this glue just a little bit smoother otherwise um, only parts of the napkin is going to adhere to this to this base and then it tends to oh don't you stick down yet and then it tends to tear is there a right and a wrong I don't think there's a right and a wrong okay or an up and a down so I'll just do that and then smooth him down. Ooh, look at those little, look, look, oh, oh, it's exciting. Look, all these little dots and even some of those dots and some of this is coming through. Just adds a little bit of, little something, something. Little surprise. Those nice little surprises you get when you craft. There you go. Okay, we're getting close, guys. So I believe I had this here yep I did so I'm gonna have to fill up my my bottle here I go um, especially when you know just before school starts I usually go and pick up one of those great big old I think it's a gallon of liquid glue and then I just fill up these little bottles um, it's a more cost-effective way of buying your glue so just thought I'd mention it for anybody who does a lot of gluing and crafting like I do or who have kiddos around who do a lot of a um, lot of artwork. Uh, it, it's just a, a cheaper way of of crafting. So I think if yep, this guy goes down here. Can you guys still see me? I think you can. I was trying really hard to get the camera high enough so it could fit this entire piece because I know it's a little little tall so it might not you might not be able to see the whole thing but that is that is down and what do we have left we have the sky left there we go And then I had a little heart. Yes, here's my little heart. I knew I had a heart. <laughs> of course I have a heart. I meant a craft heart. <laughs> I'm being silly. Uh, wait, wasn't that something that happened in The Wizard of Oz? Maybe that's what popped into my mind. I don't know. All right, so we've got a little heart, stamped heart down. That I, and I aged the edges of this. I aged the edges of that. That guy over there. 
we have two pieces left and where should I put them? I think I've got some brown paper sticking through here so I wonder if that, see that? I've got a little bit of brown paper sticking through there from the base and I don't like that so maybe I can, there we go, we'll just, we'll just cover it up like that, that's quick and easy and if it didn't cover it up I would have stuck my hand in my mystery box of papers and hauled a piece out and that would have been just fine. All right, here we go. I'm going to stick this down. And uh, something I wanted to mention, I thought I, I would mention while, while we were doing this project, I received something in the mail honestly don't even remember what it was but on the envelope they had this beautiful illustration this it was sort of on the one side and then a, uh, again on the bottom kind of like that and so I cut it out because I thought wow that looks so pretty I'm sure I can use that somewhere and if you ever get junk mail and who doesn't get junk mail right um, look at Look at the envelopes. Look inside because oftentimes this paper on the inside is actually quite pretty. Some of them, um, this one from AARP, you can just see it through there. That's really pretty. And there's stacks of it inside. Um, let me open this thing. Oh, yeah. There is stacks of it inside. Um, let me. I'll tear it open, you'll see. Look at that. Don't throw out these envelopes too quickly. First look inside. Some of them are blank, but some of them have really pretty paper. And I'm sure that I could have torn a piece out of here to add to my collage. Uh, I could make an entire I could make an entire tag out of this. In fact, if I cut this the right size, it could become a complete journaling page. Um, so just that was just my little my little crafter's tip to you. It's today's crafter's story tip. Don't and some of them come in colours. Look at this one. Um, this is really quite pretty, and you might even be able to use to use the envelopes. I mean, that's a gorgeous blue, right? And look at that lovely pattern on there. I think it's lovely. And I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but maybe if I come up with something really, really different and fancy or maybe not even just to show you how to use them or, or how pretty they look they look I will show you so there you go and then just this last one also is similar to the blue one is just in black and white um, also really really nice as you can see so don't throw these envelope envelopes envelopes I need more coffee guys out and because they really can uh, look nice as a piece cut out or as a whole page we're done this is it as you can see and I did pretty much follow my original I think I think it looks pretty close and you can always come back in and if you find that maybe there's an open piece and you don't like that it's empty maybe you can fill that in or here or here actually down here to me looks a little empty so I might want to to add a sticker once this is dry I can come back and I can stamp on it but you can see just how beautiful this is and I love how there are shiny bits and matte bits and I like it well thank you for joining me I really appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video bye